We want to thank you for delivering us from the flood and landing us safely on top of this mountain. We ask your continued safety as we now wait for the waters to go down. Amen. How long do you think it will take for this earth to dry up, Noah? I really couldn't say, but you know, we've waited this long. I guess we can wait a little while longer. It's all in God's good time now. Well, I can't wait to get off this boat. <sighs> Me too. Oh my goodness, I just want to walk in the grass and run on solid ground. I know. It has been a really long time. Doesn't that sound wonderful to eat something grown fresh out of the ground? It's been months and months since we've been able to eat something fresh and tasty. Oh, fresh fruit. Oh, fresh vegetables. And fresh air. Yes. I wonder how long it will take. I mean, we, it rained for 40 days and 40 nights. Right, and then we floated around for 150 oh, yes. days we until did. we settled on this mountain. But it's been 60 days since then, and still oh. not a sign of us leaving this boat. I am so sick of looking at these animals and gopher wood. I know, I know. Maybe we should ask Mother and Father Noah what their plan is. I mean, how will we know when we can get off and how that will be happening? I cannot wait. Yes, let's ask. Okay, okay. let's go. Hey, Noah. Mm, How's it going? Father Noah, we were wondering... Well, we were just thinking... When are we going to get off this stinking boat? <gasps> No, no, it's okay. We're all ready to be on dry land again. We just need to be sure it's safe. And I do have a plan. Oh. Okay. We're going to send out a bird and a bird. see what happens. Perhaps it will bring back something that will let us know the earth is safe for us. Did you hear that, Beulah? They're looking for a bird to fly out. We could do that. Are you kidding me? After all their insults, all their bad mouthing, all their not feeding us, you think we're going to go fly out and check out the land for them? No way. Now, Beulah, don't be that way. We could help here. I mean, we could fly out and see what there is to see. We could get off this boat. You go right on ahead, girl, if you think that's what you want to do, Belle. You just go check it out. I'm staying right here. I am not moving. Nope, not me. Staying right here. Oh, okay. We'll let someone else go, hmm. I guess. Yeah. Wait, here comes Noah. Hey, Noah, we'll go. Let us go. We'll check it out. Noah. Mm-hmm. What's he doing? Well, what did he say? He's ignoring me as usual. Uh -huh. I can't believe it. He's sending out some raven. Well, I never talk. Oh, raven. Oh, indeed. I didn't really want to go anyway. Exactly. Hey, why does our light keep going out while we're talking? I don't know, but talk about annoying. I'm so excited. I just feel like it's getting closer and closer to being the time that we can get off this boat. Don't you feel it, Noah? Yes, I do, dear. And you know that raven we sent out? Uh -huh. It finally came back, but it was totally exhausted. I think the poor thing just flew around all day looking for somewhere to land and found only water. What's next, Dad? Well, after that raven, last week we sent out a dove, but it came back too. Really, really tired. Apparently, there's just nowhere for them to perch and rest. You won't want to hear it, but I think we just need to continue to have patience and trust in God. He's taken care of us so far, and I believe He will continue to do so. To walk in the sand again? Without all the waves bouncing us around? Or lions trouncing around? Wouldn't it be nice? <clears throat> Wouldn't it be 
more we like to do. I would love that hunt for me and you. Wouldn't it be nice if we could wake up in the morning when the day is new? Then we could begin the day together, having nothing much to do with poo. Happy days together we'd be spending. Living on this ark is never ending. But oh, wouldn't it be nice? There's a time, it's coming soon, when we'll be getting off this ark. Run, run, run. We'll decide to live in love and take care of God's great big park. And then we'll be happy. Look, everyone, what? I see something coming in the distance. What? Well, what is it? Uh, that would be a gray spot. Oh. Japheth, that's no little gray spot. That's our dove. <gasps> what? Look, it has a beak in its mouth. I mean, <laughs> a branch in its beak. <laughs> it has a branch in its beak. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> That means there are trees on the earth again. Soon now, it will be time for us to get off this ark. Oh, that's great. Come, children. Now is the time to worship. Now is the time to worship. Come. Now is the time. like we've come to a stop, Beulah. It would seem so, Belle. I wonder how that last dove is doing. Noah sent her out at least a week ago, and she has not come back yet. Oh, I'm sure she's out there building in her nest somewhere, and we'll never see the likes of her again. You just can't trust doves. Isn't that the truth? You're right about that, Belle. You know, we would have come back with a very detailed report. Yes, and we would have had a long list of suggestions of what to do next. Absolutely. And 
other stuff. Right, and other stuff. Uh-huh. Well, what now? Well, I guess we can leave the boat now. It's been quite an adventure. Yes, quite an adventure. Hey, you, back there in the back, stop that. We're not done talking yet. Yeah. Well, okay. Maybe we are done talking. Yeah, we're done. <clears throat> Praise be to God. We are safely on dry land again. I am so glad to be back on land. We're all happy to be off this ark. Look, even the animals are happy to be off the ark. Thank our God, family. We have weathered the storm and we have survived the flood together. And we did it with God's help. You know, we should pray to God and thank him. Yes, we yes, should. Well we should. said, Ham. Dear Lord, you are the great and powerful God. Thank you. Thank you for caring for us through the storm. Our prayer is that you help us now as we re rebuild this world. Help us to be kind and loving, Father. Amen. Amen. covenant with you and with your descendants after you and with every living creature that was with you, the birds, the livestock, and all the wild animals, all those that came out of the ark with you, every living creature on earth. I establish my covenant with you. Never again will all life be destroyed by the waters of a flood. Never again will there be a flood to destroy the earth. Whenever the rainbow appears in the clouds, I will see it and remember. And God kept his promise. He carried us safely through the storm. God keeps all of his promises because he is the Lord of all. Praise be to God. Behold our glorious victor, 
whose mercy knows no end. And he is true, and he is right, and death is broken, he is alive. God undefeatable, kingdom unshakable, in majesty and power. Close us out with a prayer, please. We'd like to end this WBS. Let's pray, y'all. Father, we're so thankful to you for the way that you bless our lives. We're grateful, Father, for the families that we have. We're grateful, Father, for the church that we have. We're grateful for everybody's participation. Father, we love you, and we're grateful to you for everything that you do for us. So, Father, I ask that you'd be with us the rest of this summer. Help us to have a safe summer, and help us to always remember, Father, to trust you. That's been our message all week. We just want to trust you, and we thank you in Jesus' name. And everybody said...